Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm coming to you here at TransWest in Horse Trailer Sales. For those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're very conveniently located right off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver. Um, so this trailer here is not something we get in every day. This is a used 2004 Featherlight Four Horse Gooseneck LQ. So for those of you that are looking for a really nice trailer that's been really well taken care of on a nice budget, um, this is a great trailer for you. It was a single owner. Uh, she had it built for her, so it wasn't an inventory unit. She's done a couple things that are a little special on this trailer um, to make it very usable for her. She decided it was time to upgrade. She traded into a really nice Cimarron, so her loss is your gain. Um, one of the things that I want to point out on these used trailers is that our shop has, or our, our, our building has the best used trailers out there. We actually have two shops that we run it through. We've got our dirty side and our clean side. Um, so on our clean side, we check all the water systems, all the LP systems, all the appliances get serviced. They make sure there's no, no leaks or issues. Um, if we have to, we'll re reseal the roof. A lot of um, care is taken on these trailers going, going through our shops. And then on our dirty side over here, um, they do brakes, bearings, axles, alignment. There's a whole list of things that they do to make sure these are the best used trailers running down the road. So let's take a tour of this one. So the first thing I want to point out is this trailer, um, it's a 2004, but you're not going to be incredibly heavy on this one. It's 10,940 pounds empty, it's still a lot of weight and the axles are pretty far back there because of our LQ setup. So they did have the electric jacks installed on this trailer at the simple turn of a button. It's not as quick and zippy as your hydraulic jacks out there, but goes up and down at the turn of a button, really easy to use. Um, it's not something you have to sit there and crank for a very long time. You've got your LP tanks here, uh, so you can run your, your fridge, your furnace, your hot water heater. Um, a lot of systems run off that LP. You've got your batteries protected in this nice little box here with an actual battery disconnect over here. The battery disconnects are really nice. Um, say you're storing it for the winter and you want to make sure nobody walks by your trailer and turns the light on. Um, the battery disconnects will protect that battery so if it does freeze um, your batteries are not going to have any power being pulled from them and they should maintain their charge pretty well. So I mentioned you've got some nice little updates on these trailers. Um, so the first thing I want to point out is this huge awning. This is a really nice little awning that she had put on here. It's actually electric, so you're not going to have to struggle um, with that long rod and have to try and pull it down, make sure your sides are in evenly. This is going to go in and out at the touch of a button. We got some snow and rain last night, otherwise I'd zip it right out. Um, got a nice little step walking into this LQ, so you don't have to make the leap up here. Um, it's, it's quite a bit of ways off the ground, so it's just it's really nice to be able to have a nice mid-step here. Something I really want to point out is look at the condition of this screen door on a 2004 LQ. The, you can tell just by the screen door that they took a really good care of this trailer. Um, it's got these cute little curtains in there if you want a little bit more privacy inside. So we've got a 15 foot short wall on this trailer. Um, it allows you to have a nice little dinette. This does fold down, so if you need a second sleeping area, um, you've got that on this trailer. You've also got plenty of room up in the nose, nice bed. As you can see, there's tons of light on this trailer. Um, they've got little reading spotlights up in the bed, so if you wanna just sit there with a book, if it's raining or anything, it's a nice little place to get away. All these other spotlights, one of the things I think is really cool about this trailer, let's see if I can get the right one, they're actually on dimmers. 
<laughs> so you can set the lighting however you want in these trailers. I just think that's a really fun little feature. We've got spotlights under here. Lots of storage on this trailer. Lots of nice little cabinets. All the hardware is in really great shape. Um, these are really, really nicely designed little trailers, especially for the age. And our shop has gone through it, so they go through, they service the AC unit, the fridge, the furnace. Um, so you know that when you leave here, you're going to have a trailer that's ready to roll down the road. Got a nice little two burner cooktop. Heat your coffee water in the morning. You've also got lots of plug-ins um, so you can charge your phone, operate those appliances. A vent hood fan. Nice little, nice little thing to use if you're cooking something that's maybe a little, you want to get some circulation going through here. Then your monitor panel is right here, as well as your water pump, so you can kind of have everything accessed in one place. Big freezer fridge combo, so even though you don't have a slide out, you still have a full size fridge on this trailer, which is really nice if you're, if you're going for a really long weekend, you don't want to have to keep running into the town to go to the store or anything like that, so good size fridge is preferable. And then this is kind of a cool little feature here. They've got little built-in towel racks on this trailer, so on each of your doors in your bathroom, you've got these little hooks to hang some towels. All right, so in here is your bathroom. You've got a nice sized shower. Like I said, everything is in really great condition. She took really great care of it for as long as she had it. You've got a nice size wardrobe here, a little vanity, and store all your toiletries in here. And then you've got a nice little sink, wash your hands. I really like this setup because if you've got kids that are running in and out of your trailer, you've actually got kind of a mud room, mid tack combo back here. So they don't have to come all the way through the LQ, track all their dirt in just to run to the bathroom and wash their hands. Um, so it's, you've got nice two little exits here. If you've got dogs or something, this is a great place for them to stay. Keep your LQ a little bit cleaner. Once again, you've got some more, some more little, little uh, towel rods here. I think it's just cute and thoughtful. Got another big sized uh, closet right here. Plenty of storage on this trailer. They didn't, they didn't skimp out on storage at all. In here you've actually got your water tank. So instead of taking up room in your LQ under one of your dinette um, seats, you've got a nice big water tank back here. And then just lots of hooks. You can hang a lot of uh, clothes back here, some coats, big bulky items. This is a great additional storage space on this trailer. Once again, this is great condition, screen door. It's not something we usually see. These older tra trailers usually come in with the screen doors pretty trashed, but they took good care of this trailer. Got another little step to get in and out. So this trailer, you do have exterior speakers on it. Um, so if you're hanging out here, you can hang out under the awning, have some music going. Fun little trailer to use. So one of the things I want to talk about is through our shop, we actually, on every single used trailer we get in, we actually prefer, perform um, an alignment on these trailers. So trailers are just like passenger vehicles. So they're going down the road, you want to make sure they're following you nice and straight um, by getting your trailers aligned. They actually help prevent uneven tire wear, which will in the long run help prevent blowouts. So every trailer bumper pull, the big LQ, is going to get, every used one is going to get an alignment. The really nice thing about this trailer is that um, this one came in with tires that were within date, but they weren't all matching. So here at TransWest, if they're over five years or not matching, um, the ones on the floor, they're going to get replaced. So we actually have all new tires on this trailer, and there's a really simple way to 
to see how old your tires are. Um, so a lot of times if we're, if we're doing a trade value for something, we're gonna be asking you what the DOT code is on your tires. So it's really easy to find, assuming that it's on the front of your tires. Sometimes they've got these flipped around and it's on the back and you have to crawl underneath. But what you're gonna look for is these four digits right here. So see how they're very lightly outlined. They're like circled. Um, you've got four digits, 33, 20. So the first two numbers are actually the week of production. So it was produced in the 33rd week. And then the second two are the year of 2020. So these tires, um, we put, a, put new ones on as soon as it came in. So you know you're gonna go with axles that are aligned and tires that are new. So you should have really good wear on these tires when you're going down the road. This trailer is eight foot wide and seven six tall. So a lot of people that got, have those bigger horses, they're gonna be very comfortable in this trailer. Um, you've got a nice little ladder rack going up the top here. Uh, it, if you're not throwing hay up there, it's still a great place for extra storage. So that's um, a nice little added feature on this one. These wraparound doors are really nice. If you're um, in a tight spot and trying to load, you're not gonna have to wrestle doors. I've got hold backs on them to keep them open. You've got a solid uh, rear tack here. So if you're, go if you're using this trailer and you're getting a lot of airflow going through it, a lot of people run with their drop downs down and their windows open. So I can create a lot of sawdust and, and dirt to be swirling around. So by having this enclosed here and solid, your tack that you pay a lot of money for to keep nice and looking clean is gonna stay nice and clean going down the road. This, this saddle rack here is adjustable. So if you've got maybe some bigger saddles that need a little bit more room, um, it's very simple to adjust. You can slide them up and down. You can see all the adjustment points that aren't being used. If you have to add on additional one, you can. And this is removable, so if you ever need to take it out and just throw a big tack trunk back here or something like that, you can store it in your barn and, and put it back in when you need it again. Got lots of bridle hooks up here. Um, so you're gonna have plenty of room. You can take everything. You don't have to pick and choose what you bring to a show with you. Right. In this stall area here, you've got kick mats all along, um, as well as uh, bolster, or you've got padding on your dividers and your uh, partition wall here. We did have, um, they, they did leave us with a triangle feed bag for the first stall. Since we have an escape door, you've got mangers on the other three, but this, th this last one, they didn't want you to have to worry about throwing hay um, or anything like that. So you've got a little feed bag here. If you need a stud divider, our shop can easily um, get an extension. A lot of those heavy duty rubber mats are really nice. And then you can use this first stall for a little more storage. I like the functionality of these, these uh, dividers. They clip back really nice and easy. They feel very secure. You've got a heavier duty extrusive aluminum divider here. You're not gonna have to worry about your horses going, going down the road with safety. Um, nice big mangers. You've even got a chest pad here. So if you've got a horse that likes to lean on this, they're not gonna do themselves any harm. Bus windows on the hip side and drop downs on the head side. So really, really usable. Um, similar to our Cimarron's, you're gonna have uh, a metal against a plastic, so it's not gonna wear it as quickly and it's gonna be a little bit quieter for your horses. And you've got a butt strap here. So if you open that door, nobody's gonna come flying out at you. These feather lights are all aluminum trailers. They did a line and insulate on the ceiling. Um, so it's gonna stay a little bit cooler for your horses as well as if you do have any hail, it's, you're not gonna be seeing it from the underside. On this door here, you do have two little brush boxes as well as a blanket bar. Just nice for your grab and go items. Throw your brushes, throw your bottles in there. Really easy to use. As I mentioned before, you've got drop downs on the head side. And you've got pretty big windows on these ones. So if you don't want to run with the drop downs down, you can just open these windows and get a lot of airflow moving through here. Um, 
We've got jail bars, so if you want to throw feed going down the road, you can easily do that. Right here, um, like I said, you've got four tires on the floor that are new. I showed you that DOT code on the other side. Um, two 6,000 pound axles underneath this trailer. So you're, you've got pretty good running gear underneath. Like I said, just, just want you guys to appreciate um, how well she took care of this trailer, even though it is a little older. I know there's lots of people out there that are looking for something that maybe has been really well taken care of, but they get a discount on it because it's a little bit older. This is a really good example of that. Um, I'll take a well taken care of trailer any day over somebody that's, that's beat on their trailers um, that's a little bit newer. So we do have a selection of used trailers here at Trans West. We're always accepting trade-ins um, as well as right now we're doing a lot of buy bids on trailers. So if we don't have it, um, if this is close, but maybe you need a five horse or you need a three horse, something like that, we can always keep our eyes out. And if you let us know what you're looking for, um, we can give you a call when that trailer that is perfect for you comes in. So I don't think this one will be here very long. Um, now that we've got a video on it, people are going to see what great condition it is in. So for those of you that want a little bit more information on it, you can either go to our website, transwest.com. It's a 2004 Featherlight Four Horse Gooseneck LQ. And the stock number on this trailer is 5U210044. Or if you don't want to have to battle or go online, you can always give me a call. My name is Callie Say. You can reach me at 970-309-6368. I'd love to answer any questions you have on this trailer um, or any others that we have on our line or coming in. So thank you for tuning in with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day.